Hello, and in today's video, I'm going to be telling you the best books that I read in 2022. I don't have an exact list of all the books that I loved, but I do have my Goodreads up, and I have every single book that I've read this year. And I'm just going to go through the list. Anything that sticks out to me, I'm just going to talk about. And all the books I'm going to talk about, they don't have to be five-star reads, but most of them will be. It just has to really, like, stick with me. Like, I still think about this book to this day, and the characters were just really well done, and just the story really stuck out to me. I'm just gonna start looking through all my books and the first book that really just stuck out to me and gave me this really really good feeling was Addicted to You. Now I read this book in I think it was February and I read the first three books just back to back. I couldn't stop reading them. I was literally obsessed and I remember reading this first book and it doesn't always happen with people for this series but I just remember reading this book and I knew that I was gonna love every single book then onwards. Like I just knew and this book is about a sex addict and a alcoholic and they are both best friends and they've been best friends since childhood but since they've been growing up they have got kind of wound into these addictions and it's become their whole entire lives and now they are about 20 years old and they live together in an apartment and they go to college but they don't do very well and they just focus on their addictions and they enable each other and they help each other not get caught with their addictions because both of their families are very close and they pretend to fake date to hide both their addictions just the first book introduces you into the characters and the world and it is so different from the last book which is some kind of perfect and it is so just amazing to see the characters evolve and just get better and the friendships and like it's just such a good book series but that first book I really like that first book I think I just love it so much because it was the start of the series and I read it in summertime and I just remember distinctly reading it in like one whole entire day and I was just obsessed and I just loved the book straight off the bat and I would really recommend this book if you like romance if you like just drama and fan family you'll love this book you get so obsessed with the characters and they feel like real people it is kind of like Kardashian vibes like they're famous and they're rich and it's just really good and I would really recommend that series the next one that really stuck out with me was The Cruel Prince now I've only read The Cruel Prince and I really want to get onto the next two books I just remember reading the first book and I loved like the fairy aspect and I loved the way it was written it just felt really good and it just was like felt like something I've read before but it just felt really familiar and like in a good way and I'm kind of surprised that I haven't started the next book I actually have it on my bookshelf Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I honestly don't really remember what it was about, but I think like it is about Jude and Carter and then there's like all their fairy friends and there's like all this other stuff. They're kind of just like the subplot, their romance. But I think she's a human and then like she maybe she becomes something I don't actually know but I just remember it stuck out to me I just loved it and I actually think I'm gonna listen to the audiobook tonight because I just remember being obsessed. The next book is Ignite Me. I'm honestly not the biggest fan of Shadow Me except for the first three books. I've kind of just admitted that to myself that I don't really like it as much as other people and I've only read the first three books. It is the third book in the Shadow Me series and it is probably the most romance heavy and I just loved it so much. It focuses on Warner and Juliet and they kind of just evolve more into their like relationship and getting to know each other and trusting each other and and you just see that Warner just loves her so much and she's kind of just realizing like he's actually a good person and stuff and then they start like training for this like war kind of thing because they need to kill this guy who I'm pretty sure is Warner's dad I just remember it was probably the best book in the series I just think the first three books are all you need to read if you love it then continue reading like I've read oh wait I have read the I have read the fourth book oh I forgot about that personally for me I just think it rounded off really well and I read all three books back to back I couldn't stop so if you want something to like really binge and just be immersed in then I would read this series I read that whole entire like off campus series before this book and then I heard of him by Al Kennedy and Sabrina Rowan and it was an MM romance and I was kind of like I don't know if I'll like it like I feel like it might be boring I had never read an MM romance before it is not anything like special compared to other MM romances that I've read but I think it's like a 
really good book to start with MM romances. I think it was really well done. I think it had a really good balance between the past and the present and I just think the two characters were really good. There are two more books in this series and the second book is actually really good. I think it's a bit sad going on from like the first book. It follows Wes and Jamie and they used to go to this hockey camp when they were about like 15, 16 or something or maybe like they were 18. I honestly don't remember but they were just best friends. They both did hockey but then obviously something happened and they stopped talking to each other. Then it goes from the present. They meet up again and one of them goes back to the same hockey camp to train people and then the other guy goes with him. I honestly don't really remember but they're both at the same hockey camp and some things happen and they rehash feelings and there's a bit of past like through the chapters and there is a lot of like I think it's quite spicy. If you haven't read MM romances I think it was a really good book and I was just obsessed with the chemistry between the two characters. The next book that I'm just going to mention I obviously already talked about Addicted to You but Addicted after all was the last book with specifically Lily and Lo and I think that this book was perfect to end off for Lily and Lo and I gave it a five stars so I just thought I would put that in there. Okay, so the next book is Darling Venom and I heard about this book and I heard about the synopsis and I was like, wow, that seems really, really dark and a bit too much. And this book really does have this feel to it. It has this really sad feel to the book, but I just loved it and it's different. There was so much tension and the guy was just super hot. So it starts off with Charlotte and Callan and Charlotte has lost her parents and she's very sad after the thing and her sister is working to keep them afloat. She's planning on unaliving herself so she's walking to like her school in this like really tall building and she sees this guy called Cullen and they have a bit of a conversation and they have like a tiny bit of a romance like connection and they plan to meet each other next year and every year um, on the same day which is Valentine's Day on the same roof. They plan to do that to keep themselves accountable for not like ending it or whatever. They keep doing that and then one year Charlotte is late and by the time she gets there Callan is not there or he's like on the floor oh my god it's actually really sad and I remember crying Callan has this brother which Charlotte had known about when they were talking to each other he talked to Charlotte about the brother and said that he was like annoying and mean and blah 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 and the brother's name was Tate now Tate and Charlotte meet in the future and they have a bit of a rocky introduction and it's just not good and they don't like each other and it goes on from there and they kind of just figure out stuff about Callan and each other and and the tension was just there. There's one scene in the book that honestly was kind of weird but at the same time I thought it was really hot and I just think this book is really niche and the way that it's written is just really different to any other book. It was just amazing. I really really liked it. The next book and you may be like why is this book on the list? Well guess what? I really like this book and it personally spoke to me. I didn't rate it a five stars. I thought the ending was so bad but I just loved the before chapters and that is Every Summer After. I just really really like Childhood Friends Lovers. Sam and Persephone I just think they were really good when they were kids and I don't know I just think it was like a really good Childhood Friends Lovers. I just didn't like the conflict at the end and I didn't really like the now chapters like at all. I still think about this book to this day and I think about the characters so I'm just putting it on the list and it's just a childhood friends lovers and Persephone every summer goes to like a beach house and Sam lives there and it's like a small kind of beach lake town thing and I just think it was really good and it's childhood friends lovers so if you're looking for childhood friends lovers and you haven't read this book yet I would read this book oh my god the next one was the mindfuck series this book is amazing and the premise of this book is a serial killer a female serial killer and a FBI agent and they meet and they kind of get to know each other and he really likes her and she actually really likes him and that's kind of the first book. He is obviously an FBI agent and he's solving different murders and doing what an FBI agent does and she's a serial killer so she is committing crimes while he is solving crimes and one of the crimes he is solving is her crime. It's just amazing. If you like Criminal Minds, read this book right away. If you just want something different, read this book. You get to find out why the female character does what she does and it is sad but at the same time, who doesn't want a girl boss main character? Like I love Lana and I love Logan. I just love them together and this book is just gonna stay with me forever and I'm 
I'm probably going to reread it because just speaking about it just makes me like so happy. The next book is Wait For It by Mario Zapata. I read this book over the span of like three months. I read about 20% of it and I was like, oh, it's okay. It's not that good. And then I randomly just picked it back up and I was obsessed. Diana is a single parent guardian thing to her brother's kids and the brother died and she's kind of just like misunderstood and she's like obviously has a hectic life she has to take care of these two kids so she doesn't really get much time to herself personally i think the kids were so good and she has a neighbor and the neighbor's just a grumpy little bitch i forgot what his name was um but obviously he's a bit hot and he's also a baseball coach and her kid plays baseball and yeah it just goes on from there i just love this book i think the tension was just really good and by the end of the book i wanted the characters to get like so bad and it reminded me of i don't know just reminded me of like just like a movie like mixed with other movies and i just love this book so much the next book is heated rivalry now i think this book is so underrated it is in a series but you can read it as a standalone and in heated rivalry is a book about Shane and Ilya and Ilya is from Russia and Shane is from pretty sure he's from Canada and they both play hockey. The book has heaps of time jumps and it starts with them in their rookie year and they just meet and they, they don't they're not enemies um but the media kind of paints them out as enemies but they don't really like each other and they have a bit of like banter and all that stuff. This book is amazing. It actually reminds me of Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. It is an MM romance and that's not the only reason it reminds Reminds me of The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I just think this book is so good. I just love the book. I think about this book every single day. I love the characters. There is also a novella, like a continuation of the book called The Long Game and that was just as good. I gave both these books five stars. I love these characters so much and the tension and the angst is just all there and I just love it so much. I just think it is an amazing book. The characters love each other so much and you can just see that, like you're reading it and you can see that and it is just really sad because it is kind of forbidden um when you read it you'll see that it is forbidden and when they're together you just like you know they're soulmates and you just want them to like just stay together i just think it was like an amazing book and probably my favorite book of the year the next book is better than the movies which is probably another contender for the favorite book they're different books from hated rivalry obviously but this is a ya book and i grew up watching the duff and i grew up being obsessed with the duff and this book just spoke to me and like my little romance heart it is about Liz and Wes and Liz lives next to Wes and they just don't really get along they have a bit of a like banter like kind of like uh, like uh, you know and Wes is like really annoying to Liz and blah 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 and they're kind of fighting for this like park they both live really close so they want this park and Wes is like really annoying and like tries to steal it and then basically there's this guy called Michael and he lived there when he was little Liz sees Michael and she is like oh my god I need to be with this guy her mum passed away and they used to watch heaps of romance movies together and they were just like obsessed with romance and like romance songs and like meet cutes and all that so when she sees the Michael guy oh my god this is my time to shine like this is my moment or whatever so her goal is to get with Michael but to do so she needs to be near him and like hang out with him so she's like I need to go to this party that he's going to but she doesn't really know how to get invited so she realizes that Michael and Wes are friends so she goes to Wes to like get him to give her an invite or whatever so she can tag along and Wes is like mm, and then she's like I'll give you the parking spot and then kind of just goes on from there he kind of helps her try and get this Michael guy along the way things happen and the romance may go in a different direction and I love this book I love Wes 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 I love this guy there's a couple things that happen in this book which are really embarrassing for the female character and the Wes guy doesn't even bat an eye he is amazing and I'm just gonna say this because it's like they lived together their whole life he has been like secretly pining after her his whole life and I think just knowing that before you read it makes it just so much better because who doesn't love the pining guy and like the girls like oblivious and it's just amazing and I would recommend this book to anyone I think anyone could read this book I'm just gonna finish this video off with two of my current favorite reads the first one is you deserve each other and it is about Naomi and Nicholas and they are currently engaged um, but they realize that they don't really like each other and they want to call it off they are sick of the engagement so they're kind of sabotaging it and whoever ends 
means that it has to pay for all the wedding things that have already been bought and stuff. So neither of them want to end it. So they're just making each other's lives annoying and how that's just the plot of the book. But I love this book so much and I put it off for so long and I'm so annoyed that I did because I love this book so much. I love the characters. I love Nicholas just read this book because this was a five stars as soon as I read it I was like this is my book like this is all I could ask for I was sick of reading romance books that were just so two-dimensional and just like so flat and just like basic and the characters were just like so sexualized and like I wanted the emotional stuff like I wanted the the depth and this book just gave me everything more and it was also a bit spicy and like it had the tension and it was just a perfect romance book and I loved it so much and then at the last Last five star read of the year was Part of Your World. I read You Deserve Each Other and Part of Your World back to back and they were both five star reads. This book was everything I could have asked for and more. I started it off and I was like yeah this is good and I kept reading and I got to the halfway point and I kept reading and I was like this is amazing like I'm not getting bored like I can't stop reading. Oh, it was just amazing and it is about Alexis and Daniel and Alexis is from like a big city and Daniel is from a very small town and they're basically just complete opposite opposites and Alexis works at a really big hospital where she lives and it's kind of been a part of her family name and she has a lot of pressure with like that kind of whole thing and Daniel has just been a part of this town forever and his own family actually founded the town so they're kind of not as opposites as they thought. They meet each other while Alexis is driving home back to her city and she like goes off the side of the road because there was an animal on the road and Daniel helps her and like tows her out and they just meet and then they meet at a bar again and they go home and they have a bit of a one night stand but it's like more than that because they like actually connect after that one night they continue seeing each other and Alexis has to drive from the city to the small town and it's like two hours there so it's four hours in total and it's just a bit annoying but she does it and they just continue seeing each other and it goes on from there she is like really rich and he is not that rich um but it just the story it just made me so happy and it just was drama I love the way it ended I love the scenes there were so many scenes in there that were just so different and like specific and like niche and it was a fairy tale that's all I can say it's a fairy tale and the Daniel guy is like a cinnamon roll boyfriend and I would read this book if you're looking for something that literally is just true love and just like romance and just fluffy and just like emotional at the same time it's just amazing and I would 100% recommend this book and then I'm just gonna go through all the books that I think are a good honorable mention the first one is the Avatar series obviously Obviously you might have already heard of that but I personally really love this series. I listen to them all on audiobooks and they hit just as well and they're all free on YouTube. The audiobooks are all free so I would read this. The next one is The Infinity Between Us. This is a Childhood Friends Lovers and I really like this book. I actually think it was probably the only Childhood Friends Lovers that was done right and it was really good. The next one is The Bride Test by Helen Hong. I think this book was different and I'm actually kind of surprised I didn't put it on this list but I do think it's quite a different book for a lot of people and probably wouldn't appeal to heaps of people but once again if you're looking for something different this book would probably do that for you and I really did like Esme and Kai I think they were just amazing and Kai actually has autism so if you're looking for something that has a bit of representation I think that would be really good. The next one is The Co-op. This book was so good. I love this book. It has marriage of convenience in it. It has a bit of like past um, with the two characters. They actually used to like love each other and all that stuff so if you're looking for something like that I would 100% recommend this book and during the book they are renovating this house that they both own. The next one is The Flat Share which is actually becoming a movie. Um, you can look at the trailer. I love this book so much. Personally I don't think the cast for the guy is exactly what I would have wanted like nothing wrong with the guy but just like how I pictured him but I actually still think he gives me like the same vibes so I'm it's still good and I'm actually really excited to watch the movie and I'm hoping they did a good job and this was also a five star read so read this book I think it was really really good The Godparent Trap oh my god The Godparent Trap was so good if you want something easy to read it's literally like watching a movie and the kids were hilarious and the guy was a bit of annoying at the start but halfway through he is really good and I'm actually rooting for the guy and I really really like this book. The next one is Still Beating. If you like true crime you'll really like this book. It is very emotional obviously if you know what the premise is you'll understand why and it is actually really good at the same time though. The next one is Bittersweet Memories and I would recommend this book to 
anyone who likes like Wattpad, but it's not written like Wattpad. I just think it's like kind of Wattpad vibes. It kind of speaks to the Wattpad heart and it's really underrated too, I would say. It does have a trope that not many people like, but it just works. It works so well. Oh my god, it was actually a really good book. If you liked Darling Venom, I would read Bittersweet Memories. So good. I'm running out of batteries. I'm just going to quickly say the next ones. The Bodyguard, Heartbones, and the first two books in the Crave series. But apart from that, that is all that I really think is worth mentioning. I really hope that you choose one of these books from this video. Like, I loved all these books that I mentioned. And I think they will really be good for hopefully anyone who decides to read them. Maybe some of them, not so much. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.